Cole Cabana, Brian Danielson, Saul Renaro, professional wrestling, good times, a camera, and a bunch of other stuff that makes a documentary awesome. That's what the Wrestling Road Diaries is all about. The Wrestling Road Diaries is a lot more than just a documentary about independent professional wrestling. It also tells the story of three friends that just want to have a great time while doing the wacky world of independent wrestling. And if you're a fan of Dana Bryan, Bryan Danielson, you have to check this out because one of the first details that you find out in this documentary is that he's being offered a WWE contract. So throughout the documentary, you also see him close out his independent professional wrestling career going through a couple of scary health issues that may impede him from being inside the WWE. And this is filmed back in 2009. So this is shortly after Cole Cabana was released from his Cody Goldman stint in the WWE. So he's a little bitter every now and then. He talks about the fact that he's happy about Dana Bryan getting the opportunity, but at the same time knowing that it doesn't always turn out that well. And it's interesting for those that listen to The Art of Wrestling every week, just to see how different his perspective has been from this documentary all the way to the Wrestling Road Diaries 2. Now, the reason that this documentary is awesome is because it's gritty. You know, usually when a documentary starts, you get, you know, a video package, you get a music video about all these things. You know what? This is like you're a fourth guy, you know, in their car because it's three professional wrestlers, Cole Cabana, Brian Danielson, and Saul Renaro. There is a camera band always with them in the backseat. So it's like you're hearing all these wrestling road stories. You're, you're seeing just how crazy their life is, you know, traveling eight to 10 hours to wrestle for 30 minutes, to wrestle sometimes an hour, to lose a match, to possibly get injured. You know, you see them wrestling in front of huge audiences, then shows about 50 people. And you also get to hear just how, why they like that diversity, why they like the smaller crowds they give them more flexibility, more opportunity to either be funny or to try something out, try a new character out. The documentary also doesn't limit itself to professional wrestling. You know, once these shows are over, you know, you go to thrift stores with these guys. At one point, they stay inside the, uh, the house of a fan because they, they didn't really have any place to stay. The fan offers that, and this is crazy how this happens you know they're washing their clothes inside the fans house and it's it's just amazing you know uh this type of stuff you usually don't get it's gritty sometimes the camera work isn't all that great sometimes the audio you know is a little hard to hear but it's great because it, it makes you feel like as opposed to watching these three people doing that it feels like you're actually there with them now when you're actually in the shows you get to see a lot of familiar faces like cesaro previously known as Claudio Castanoli, uh, who always looks elegant, like the man is always well dressed. I don't know if that's part of his character, like behind the scenes, or if that's just the guy, but you know, you see him, you see a lot of other guys that have come and gone from the WWE, or are currently in the WWE, and it's interesting how at one point you see Dana Bryan become frustrated because he tried a couple of things in a match, and you know, the crowd didn't necessarily react to that. And then you actually hear the conversation between the wrestlers just talking about those little details that we as fans, you know, won't usually get to hear. You know, that's not in a WWE documentary. That's not in these type of things. But the Wrestling Road Diaries gives us that opportunity. Now, are there things that they could have made a little better? Yeah, you can always make the argument, but when you're in a watermelon eating competition, you're in professional wrestling, these guys are getting injured, they're getting tests, they sometimes don't have the money to even eat, and then you just get to be with these guys for all this time, it makes Wrestling Road Diaries a must watch. I have not watched the Wrestling Road Diaries 2 as of this video. Once I do, you're gonna check out the review, it's gonna be available somewhere in our YouTube channel. Let me know if you've watched the Wrestling Road Diaries if you've enjoyed it, you can check it out at coltmerch.com. You can also go to wrestlingroaddiaries.com and get it in a bundle like I did. You can check out our unboxing video. It is in the description below, giving you everything you want. You can get it autographed by Cole Cabana himself. You can leave a personalized message if you want. So what better way to support independent wrestling than by reaching out getting this documentary, learning a lot more, these diverse characters that are awesome, larger than life, but also humble. They gotta sell their own stuff, they gotta make a living. This is what they do 
for us. So for Ryan and Keith, I'm Juan. Check, that, check this out and we'll be back with another video review.